Uh, today we're here with Stu. Stu's going to talk uh, to us about the benefits of the AC wave balance for aluminium TIG welding. Stu. Okay, thanks Glenn. Um, traditionally, a transformer rectifier power source has a standard sine wave. And with the standard sine wave, we've got a positive and a negative half cycle. And we're pretty much restricted with that. As the sine wave transfers through the zero point, the arc actually extinguishes and it does have an effect on the weld, but we're talking milliseconds, so it's difficult to actually define and see. However, if we move to more modern AC transformer rectifiers that have a square wave type setup, you'll find that with these machines, we now have the ability to actually manipulate the AC sine wave. <clears throat> so what we can do, we can reduce or increase the positive or negative half cycle. So by reducing the positive half cycle, we in turn increase the negative half cycle. We have 100% of a sine wave, we can't reduce that to 70%, so if you're going to take something off one half, you're going to have to add it to the other. And what this does, it actually, if we remove it from the positive half cycle and we add it to the negative half cycle, it increases the ability to achieve penetration on aluminium. But by doing that, you're also giving up the ability to clean that aluminium mm. as you're welding. Mm. Because the positive half cycle is the cleaning cycle as you are ACT welding aluminium. Mm. So having the ability to do this gives us a much better chance of producing a good quality arc where we can get a more defined arc it's an excellent opportunity to use it when you're doing a T-fillet on aluminium. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying about the transformer rectifier, on transformer rectifiers, they don't all come out standard with this, do they? No, traditionally they would have a standard sine wave, more modern ones yep. would have square wave, mm -hmm. and then more modern ones again, yep. you have the ability to manipulate that square wave. Yep. If you were to move away from a transformer rectifier yep. and start using an inverter, a lot of high-end inverters and also have the ability to compress this sine wave mm -hmm. which gives us better advantage yeah. again. And again on the machine this is done purely through the a little adjustment, a little dial on the yeah. machine. On a transform rectifier you'll have a separate dial where you can make this, alter this from that yep. to this. Correct. Yep. And in that we've got this flowing action for the for, as it goes through on the traditional sine wave do we notice this this square sort of look? Is it is it a different approach? Do you notice it in the in the, in the look of the arc? You don't really notice it in the look of the arc. You've got a more stable arc mm. because it's passing through the zero point oh, quicker. Yes. Yeah, okay. So you get a slightly more stable arc. Yeah. But it's difficult to see with the naked eye. As I say, we're talking milliseconds. Yeah. Um, that this passes from positive to negative. Mm. Spot on. Thanks, mate. Shorty.